Welcome to a day in the life with a literary agent. <laughs> literary agents are the unsung heroes in the publishing world. They work tirelessly to campaign unknown authors as well as existing authors to help them get published. They work with editors to make sure that the books are ready to go to market and they negotiate contracts on their behalf with their clients. In this video, we're gonna do a, a series where we're gonna go meet the agent. Hi, I'm Dennis Schleicher and I'm an associate agent here at Talcott Notch Literary Services. And I am joined with my agent and boss, Gina Panettieri, who is the founder of Talcott Notch. Gina, welcome. Thanks, Dennis. This is exciting. Good, so what would you like to know? I would like to know first off, what is a literary agent? A literary agent is a representative for the authors. They're uh, an author advocate. So uh, we take projects, people, people send us their work, we evaluate the, not only the marketability of the work, but also how uh, appropriate the work would be for that particular agent. So um, once we've found works that we feel comfortable, that we could work with successfully, uh, we then shape the work with the author and then take it out to publishers and negotiate the contracts and oversee the process from there and, and, and intervene if there's any problems that come up with the production, the distribution, um, the publicity. Which we, I've been there. We, we lost an entire yeah. palette of my first book when it came out. Yeah. Yeah. Happens all the time. Yeah. We have lots of issues um, that a literary agent might intervene with. Um, we've had issues where the books were not were not shipped, did not arrive. Um, where the the covers, um, we've had books with the wrong covers on them. Uh, we've had books with pages. So we we try to make sure that if there's a fire, we we can put it out for the author because the author should be focusing on their writing, not necessarily on. Um, all of these other problems that the can day to their, day, like, mundane right. tasks. Exactly, exactly. So we yeah. free the author up to be able to do what they do best, which is writing their books. Yeah. So I guess a misconception <laughs> people have is how much does a literary agent cost? Uh, well, we work on a commission basis, and anybody who's asking you for money outside of that commission basis is probably someone you don't want to work with. Um, mm -hmm. So we get, on average, we get 15% of the revenues that we generate for the author. So whether it's um, because we sold your book, or we sold sub rights to your book, we sold your audio rights, or something else for you, like serialization rights, we get a 15% commission. So we get paid when you get paid. Um, and, you know, so we, we want our authors to be successful. We want to get the best deals yeah. we can for them. We want to help them be as successful as they can um, because we're working strictly on a commission and we're successful when you're successful. Yeah. It's just like a literary age. I mean, a, a real estate age. It's like, right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You work on behalf of the client and you represent them to, to the world and you look out for their interests for a commission. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Now, what are some misconceptions of things that agents don't do? Oh, okay. We have people who approach us who um, they've already published a book and they want someone to help them market it. We're not, you know, we're not public relations, we're not publicity, um, we work for our clients. Um, we also have people who assume that we, we or, the, or the publisher is gonna do everything for them. Um, so they, they don't take particular care in editing their book before they send it to us. And this is, this is really problematic. We will help you shape the book, but we do expect that the author has put a lot of effort into making it the strongest, cleanest manuscript. Um, so there's, there's, you know, we're looking for errors that, you know, you guys should have cleaned up before sending to mm -hmm. us. If, if it's not taken care of, it kind of looks to us like you don't care. Um, and we want someone who's really, 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 you know, advocating for themselves. So bring in the strongest, cleanest, uh, best edited manuscript you can. Um, we, and we also don't, um, we don't take, I, we don't here at, at, at Top of the Notch, we don't take on um, people's film work. We are not screen agents. We do the screen rights for the literary projects that we represent. Mm. But like most literary agencies, we're not necessarily looking for original screenplays um, to take to Hollywood. For those kinds of things, it's really mm. important to have someone who's got boots on the ground in Hollywood yeah. and get someone who's specifically a screen agent. Now, I remember you said something to me uh, quite a few years ago when you became my agent mm -hmm. is to why you have somebody in California that has boots in Hollywood. Yeah. Is you said you'd rather be great. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. 
you'd rather be phenomenal at doing this mm -hmm. than to just be okay at doing a little bit of everything. Yeah. Maybe I mean, that's there, not there's, there's a lot of, but yeah. There's a lot of agents. I mean, we will help with the film rights. We'll send uh, projects out to producers that we know. Um, or if we know of a specific need, someone's looking for a specific kind of work, we'll try to contact with them and get stuff out. But it's, we've found, it's in our experience, it's been much more effective to have a, a dedicated screen agent, um, mm -hmm. you know, who's got the contacts, who's spending all day every day, you know, chatting with producers, mm -hmm. they've got their, their ear to the ground, they know who's looking for what, um, and they also know what the, the value of that project is in Hollywood much better than, than I would because, I mean, I can tell you what it's worth, you know, in New York City. I can't tell you yeah. what it's worth necessarily in Hollywood. Um, so I found that to be much more effective. We'll do what we can when we've got the contact, when we, you know, we, we already have the hookup, but I've really, really, really emphasized how, how good it is to have somebody who's, that's their profession. Yeah. Everyone knows who they are. Everyone respects their opinion, and they can just go in and, and pitch yeah. this for that specific format. This has been great. So we want to keep these quick, and but we will be doing little segments uh, throughout the month. And stay tuned. Let us know what your questions are for Meet the Agents, and that'd be uh, thank cool. You. So thank you so much. Okay. And again, like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Thank you. Mm -hmm.